Hindi. From Professor Saborno Isaac Bari. So, let's do it, Professor, can you give us the, before do now, can you give us the summary of the today's thing? Oh, so for today's topic outline, today's layout is going to start with the do now, where we will write two of the previous letters, the 16th and 17th letter. Mm. Okay, so So what number of letter I have to write? Uh, 16. 16. Okay, so I'm going to try to write the 16 letter of Hindi alphabet and I know that there are 44 and my job is to write number 16, Professor? Number 16. Number 16 is... <laughs> I can write 17, Professor. I don't remember 16. Is oh, that okay? Okay. Uh, is Ga. Ga for Gauri. Gauri. Gauri means, uh, I guess, clock. An alarm clock, you mean. Oh, alarm clock, maybe. It uh, was used up to wake up. Right, so clock. Is that, is that right, Professor? So this is number 17. I apologize that I don't remember 16. I know that was a homework. I can try number 16. So it's gonna be, I'm gonna try letter number 16, right? Okay. Okay, so. It's gonna be Ga for Gasor, which is also known as Karen. What the, what is this? What is this man doing? My Hindi class. What is huh. this man doing in my Hindi? Oh, did he make mistake, Professor? A big mistake. Big mistake on his part. First of is all, in the, pie? the small, the small light is on the other side. Second of all, it's not Gazor. 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 It's spelled the same. No. Okay. It's a J. So you have lots of space on the left. Okay. I'm not sure why you are keeping that. I'm just starting from here to make the table big. Okay. So this is No, the Professor, letter. I'm saying you could you could have stepped on here oh. and go this way. You want me to start extremely on the left. Okay, I can You don't you don't have to jam up those numbers. 18, 19, 20, 21. 22. Okay. So, these, uh, these are the numbers of the alphabet? Uh, yeah. So symbol, pronunciation, letter, the number, and letter. Okay. Okay. So Professor, you are running out of ink. Here, oh. there you go. This is the table that we're going to be using today. 
It can appear in the form of a dot sometimes. But why? Well, this is because it had no meaning in Hindu or English. It's used to put flavor. You know how you put salt, cilantro, pepper all yeah. over regular delicacy? For example, when you say jungal. Yeah, yeah. yeah this. You know how you sprinkle salt, pepper, cilantro, or uh, lemon juice over multiple delicacy? Del uh, well, it's like that, but with languages. Uh, salt and pepper are, are unnecessary, but they give more flavor, more taste. Just like this, it gives more impact on the reader. I don't know how, but it definitely does. So, and now, for 19, we are going to have this. Looks like a tea giving birth to a little baby tea. Um. So, I think I should move this over. It looks a bit like that. And it's pronounced cha. And then tamat. Oh, chamos, what is, uh, what is chamos in English, for Oh, it's spoon, right? Like... Uh, sorry everybody, uh, technical difficulty, but it means spoon in English. Anyways, for the 20th letter, we're going to be looking at, hmm, let's say we're going to be looking at this. This is the 20th letter of the alphabet. Kind of tricky to write, but you'll get the hang of it. It looks a bit like this, and it pronounced a bit like this, ja, and it's usually used ja as in hmm. So, this is used in maybe umbrella, which should be chata. 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 Chata is umbrella, right, Professor? Yeah, umbrella. Okay. So, I guess you could say it's more... Cha. Cha. Chata. Yeah. Chata. And then that's chata. And chata and umbrella. So now, for the 21st letter, I believe we will have hmm, some jump, but what exactly jump? Hmm. I need some scooper for jam. I don't have a spoon or a knife with me, so why not turn this pot into a scooper instead? Mm. You, uh, you kind of uh, make a pie and then take out some sort of spoon thing. It looks more like the Big Dipper than the spoon. But anyways, um, this is called ja, uh, double A, yes, or jam, which is pronounced jam in English, and some notable spelling differences. Why am I... Um, saying plural when it's only singular. So, 22, our last, our final letter is going to look like this. It's pretty hard to write. I know that some of you will get the hang of it, although it's hard, pretty hard to write. Uh, hmm, so... It's pretty hard to write, but here is my rendition of it. This is the final letter we're going to discuss today. Okay, professor. So, uh, uh, ja, jan, or janna, as in flag. Actually, when <laughs> I, uh, actually, when I uh, saw the word flag in Hindi, it had a little bit salted pepper on it. Oh, By really? salted pepper, I mean the letter ang on it, in the form of a little dot that wasn't supposed to be on this letter John. I was confused at first, and I thought it was a new letter, but then I realized it's the salt. Just, it's 
in disguise. So now, with that, I... Uh, I Pop, sir, can you, uh, uh, can I read it? Oh, yeah. And with that, right. I bought so, everybody... Alright, so, Pop, um, can you ask the other guy to read it first? Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, read it first. Um, uh, professor, you can sit down on the chair, Professor. Um, and uh, Professor, you're going to give us that grade, okay? Who gets, let's say who gets better grade, and uh, who gets A and who gets F. Wait, 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 wait. So, okay, so first, wait, wait, wait. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, out of 18. Okay, out of 18. So, uh, the pronoun is noun. Hindi word is noun. English word is noun. No, uh, wrong answer for Hindi and English word. They're no, uh, noun meaning no data. It's they, oh. they had no, no data. So now your current score is negative one out of eighteen. Okay. Pronunciation is sa. Hindi word is chamak and English word is spoon. Not chamak. That's um two, uh, minus one plus two is one. Minus one is zero out of eighteen. So far. Mm. Uh, letter number 20 pronunciation cha again. Hindi word chattari, English word umbrella. Alright, go good. Read out of 18. Pronunciation number 21 is ja, Hindi word jam, English word jam. Wrong! Uh, the Hindi word is ja, and this is ja. Uh, so you actually got two wrong, bringing you back down to one, but you add one to that score, so two. Pronunciation so jan. Hindi word jamna, English word plant. Okay, so 5 out of 18. So oh. you got 5 out of 18. What percentage is that? 27. 27%. You have successfully failed. Okay. Professor, can I try? Yes. Uh, number 18 alphabet of Hindi is... You don't have to say the number. Oh. Okay, so... Ang, ang does not have direct application but is at the flavor of the okay. given word. Good description. Uh, a good description. I am I'm adding two points for that one. So two out of eighteen so far. Next. All right. Uh chow. Chow is what is that? Sale. Cha. Cha is chamoch. Chamos is like an English spoon that so you use to two eat. Out of three. So you put down two out of three. What? So so far you're five out of eighteen. Okay. The next letter is a chow, chatre, which is umbrella in English. Oh, uh, okay. So that's seven. You put down chatari wrong. Oh, chatar. Okay. So that's seven out of eighteen. Now, t number 21 is uh, z za, who is uh, in Hindi pronunciation is jam, English pronunciation is jam. It's like jam, jam. Jam. It's so like I mean 9 out of 18 so far. It's like type of uh, jelly that you eat mm -hmm. with the bread. Yeah. Number 22 is. Um, Jan, which is like a, in Hindi pronunciation is Janda. Uh, I mean Hindi word is Janda. Hindi pronunciation is Jan. And in English is flag. Flag is something that you salute. Mm -hmm. So that is 12 out of 18, which is 67. You have successfully passed. Oh, thank you, Prof. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science especially programming.